Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Kenna. Uh, yes, this game you can play it on the PC. A lot of people uh, talk it was only on the PS5, but it's currently available on Epic Games. So let's start with the first optimization, the game mode. Right game mode in your search bar. Make sure that your game mode is activated. It will give you a nice, uh, not necessarily a boost in your FPS, but it's going to make sure that your resources are uh, running well uh, to the game. Uh, I know on my Ryzen, I have a Ryzen 5900X, so 12 core. So the game mode is taking my best core on my CPU to run the game. So you're going to make sure that you maximize the amount of FPS. So really important to use the game mode. Also for the Xbox game bar, I recommend to deactivate it. Uh, even with the latest patch, I don't recommend it. A lot of stuttering issue artifacts sometimes crashes so uh i'm not recommending the xbox game bar for now uh for the capture of windows background record re recording i recommend to put this one at off recorded audio off another thing that can be important if you have um, an nvidia card 1000 series or above uh, you have a, a, a feature called graphic setting so just write graphics setting in your search bar and the feature called hardware accelerated gpu scheduling make sure this one is at on it will help you if you have like a low-end computer or mid-range computer um if you have like something recent honestly you will not necessarily uh, the, see the difference can help like if you have like a 1050 1050 ti something like that it help a little bit with the bottlenecks and you can gain a nice three to five percent boost in your fps another thing that i recommend is to update your driver so make sure that you're running the latest version of radian nvidia or even intel uh you can you can go on their website and uh just download uh, their uh driver don't just like update your graphic driver on the uh, search option from windows uh you will just uh, have like a generic driver that will just provide you your image on your screen but it will not optimize for uh, games so really important to do the update another thing that i recommend last thing is your power option so write energy in your search bar Go to power option. Make sure that you're running balance or high performance. Uh, on a desktop computer, normally you will not have this issue. But I see a lot of people with a laptop uh, that are running power saver or other power mode that is provided by uh, their uh, manufacturer of uh, their laptop. So if you have something like eco mode power saver and you, your laptop is plugged in the wall, you don't want to run that. You're not using the uh, the uh, the old resources of your laptop. So you want to run balance or high performance to make sure that you have the best boost clock on your GPU and CPU. So this is pretty much it for Windows. Now we will go inside of the game. To, gonna make sure that we're gonna ma maximize the amount of the FPS, but still keeping a good uh, image quality. So now for the graphic setting, go in the graphic option. The first one is the window mode. I really recommend to use full screen. Add a lot of like uh, stuttering with the borderless called the window full screen. So really like use full screen. For your resolution, I recommend to play native. So if you have like a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. If you downscale too much your resolution, you will see that your game will be a lot blurry. So I recommend to downscale your rendering resolution and not your resolution. I will show you how to do that later. For the graf graphic API, for me, DirectX 12 was the best because my computer is pretty uh, recent. But on my old laptop, uh, DirectX 11 was better so definitely do some testing it really depends i feel like if you have like an old gpu that was made for direct x 11 it will be better uh again sometimes nvidia and amd amd sometimes it's a little bit better also with direct x 12 so look at your nvidia card also and just like show your fps with a software like msi afterburner and you will see if it's better or not for the V-Sync, I'm putting this one at off. I'm using a, a FreeSync on my monitor, so I don't need V-Sync. So if you're using G-Sync, FreeSync, don't use that. And honestly, if you uh, you don't have those options on your monitor, go with V-Sync at on. It will add a little bit uh, input lag, but you know it's a solo game, so uh, you don't want like screen tearing. And V-Sync will help you for that. If you feel that you have a crazy amount of uh, of input lag, uh, sometimes just deactivate V-Sync to test if this is the problem for the quality we're going to put custom and we're going to go in advance here 
So first of all, the visible rot. Uh, this one, don't go too crazy with this one. It can't. Uh, you can have like stuttering and a big drop in your FPS if you don't have a, a good PC. So I recommend something like medium. It's a good uh, balance. All is taking a lot of resources. I kind of and medium is a good balance because I didn't see a big difference honestly in uh, low versus medium. So for me, medium is a good balance to play. Screen percentage, this is your render resolution. So after the old guide, if you're still struggling with your FPS, I recommend to go with something like 90 or even 85. For the FPS limit, I'm putting 165 here because it's in my free sig range. If you don't want to not generate too much heat in your computer because you don't want you don't have like good thermals, definitely lock your FPS at like 60 if you have like a 60 Hz screen or whatever, 144 Hz, 144 FPS if you have a 144 Hz screen. For depth of field, I recommend limited and motion blur off. You will not gain FPS with this, but uh, your uh, clarity of your, your image will be a lot better. So definitely remove this. Volumetric fog, I recommend medium. I'm getting 3% boost, high to medium. Medium to low, I'm getting 1%. So medium is a good spot for your volumet volumetric fog. Ambient occlusion, you can get 3% for each bracket, but low, your image will look flat. So I recommend to go with medium. But again, if you're playing on a laptop with an integrated GPU, probably your ambient occlusion, you will need to go with low. But for my recommendation for here, it's medium. Post-processing quality, you can go a ham with this one. You can go at low. You will gain a nice 7 to 8% boost in your FPS, and it will not too much affect your quality. But if you want a little bit more post-process quality, I recommend medium. Texture, uh, if you have 4 gig and more of VRAM on your GPU, you can definitely go at ultra. Uh, 3 gig high, 2 gig medium, and less than 2 gig, play your texture at low. For the foliage, foliage is taking a lot of resources in this uh, game. You can go ultra. You can gain 3% at uh, ultra to high, high to medium, another 3%, and medium to low, it's 2%. I recommend medium. Uh, I, I feel like when you go two bracket lower and you plant medium, your foliage look great in this game. And also, you will gain a nice amount of FPS. The last one is the shadow, another one. This is the probably the, the, the graphic parameter who will give you the most of a FPS. So if you go to ultra to low, you can get a nice 12% boost in your FPS. But again, it's a little bit like ambient occlusion. Your image will look flat. So if you can run medium, I recommend medium. You will have a nice 8% to 9% boost in your FPS and your shadow will look a lot better. So this is pretty much my recommendation. Honestly, the game is running well on my computer and also on my laptop. I always test on my laptop. It's like an old i7 with a 1050 mobile. And uh, yeah, it's running well. So if you have any question about this game, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.